So after nine years with the Arizona Coyotes GM, Don Maloney is let go this morning. Can you give me your initial reaction to why this move happened? Uh, I think it's a multifaceted answer. Uh, the bottom line here is in professional sports, you miss the playoffs for four straight seasons. Somebody's going to pay the price, and I think we're seeing part of that. You can certainly look inside some of the moves that Don Maloney has made recently or hasn't moved, made uh, in, in terms of trades, acquiring players in the offseason like a Dougie Hamilton, who they really wanted last offseason and didn't get. And some of that on his resume will certainly affect it. But I think also you have to look at just probably a philosophical difference in the direction of this team. Um, you know, a win-first approach now versus pushing it down the road a little bit and building for something bigger down the road. Um, obviously, he did some good things while he was here. He stocked the, the farm system with a lot of promising prospects. And for many years, he operated with a shoestring budget, a shoestring scouting staff, and they still made the playoffs three straight seasons. So when you look at this, you, you still have to acknowledge that Don Maloney did a lot of very good things here. But at this time, ownership decided it was time to move on. All right, without a GM now looking ahead, what's the outlook for this team this summer and going forward? Well, a lot of things hanging in the air, and now – Topping that list is finding a new general manager to make a lot of those decisions. They have a number of restricted free agents that they need to get re-signed. They have some decisions on unrestricted free agents, although not major issues there other than maybe Alex Tange. They have to decide what they want to do. And, of course, Shane Doan, who we all expect to come back anyway. Back, yeah. Um, but, you, yeah, you need a general manager in-house. So that's, that's the first order of business. And then when I think when you look at the personnel in this lineup, I think priority number one has to be to improve that blue line. Oliver ekman Larson is obviously an elite defenseman. Connor Murphy made some great strides, but below that, especially with Michael Stone's injury, you have some question marks, so you have some pieces to fill in.